Hey guys, this is Shaney Boy. This is episode three of Walking and Talking from Out and About TV. Um, today I'm doing another training walk. Everything that I am doing in Walking and Talking is leading up to my 10 day trip uh, through the Alps from France to the Matterhorn, uh, the town of Zermatt. Today I'm doing a similar walk as before when I saw the cows that led me up to the lake. Uh, Going in the same direction, I have to make it up past those two hills into that town in the background. And from there, I stopped last time just where the trees go from light green to dark green. And today I'm taking it an overnight. This is my first overnight. So I'm going up actually all the way to the top where you see the trees kind of disappear up there just a little bit. And, uh, and there's a peak. So, uh, that's where I'm headed. Just got the first hill behind me, which is like a, a little cardio pump. Get your legs burning because it's so steep uphill. And then uh, I get a sail for a little bit. I get a sail for like the next hour downhill and then flat until I start that start that next climb up to that town and, and above. So here it goes. Just about an hour into the walk now, still on flat ground. I decided to take the new route that Michelle suggested to me, although we discussed it over beers one night. So uh, I have a good, you know, I have a good recollection of what he said, but I'm just hoping that I don't get to a dead end at some point. But I'm following the river and where I'm going is uh, pretty much where the river comes from. So as long as I stay on that path, I should be somewhat safe. Taking the first well-deserved break after five miles. It is hot outside today. Made my way through the vineyards for the most part. But uh, man, there's been a nice breeze. There was a nice breeze at the beginning and now it's gone. The little waterfall, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you can see it. Uh, in the distance there, right in the dark shadow. But, uh, I wish I was walking over there in that shade right now, here. And I wanted to follow like the ultralight way of trekking and backpacking. Did some research on that. I have an ultralight sleeping bag. I have an ultralight sleeping pad. I don't even have my tent with me today. Uh, I have water, food, some warm clothes for tonight. So I have I have my drone, which which I think adds about three pounds. But I'm at 20 pounds, I'm at 22 pounds. And, uh, and these guys go out hiking like 10 pounds or so. I have no clue how I could cut my weight by half. I don't have my ultralight backpack yet. Um, I have my uh, uh, nomadic backpack back there. My nomadic backpack is super nice, except for it's, um, it's a thick material that holds up well when you travel and you throw in the airplane and stuff. But resting against your back, it's, uh, it's like that North Face bag material. It's kind of that heavy rubber material. It just makes your back sweat like crazy. So I'll be looking forward to getting my ultralight backpack in. That'll cut a pound, maybe. The thing that I have is ultralight. I don't know how I get down to 10 pounds though, or sub 10 pounds. I mean, some of these guys are going, going six pounds and whatnot. I just don't see how that's possible. But 10 pounds would be nice to hit. Uh, got a lot of work to do, obviously, though. I'm only doing one night. I packed everything that I would need for a long trip for the most part, um, just to see. But um, but yeah, 20 pounds, 22 pounds is not ideal for an ultralight backpacking, and it's not ideal for a hot day. Like I could not be happier right now. I made it to my lake, right here where the wind's blowing from this waterfall. It's like 60 degrees outside compared to 90. Also, this is about the halfway point, I think. I haven't done this walk completely and I didn't plan an exact route. I just know that I basically have to continue to walk uphill from our house for four hours and I'll reach the highest point. Super hot and halfway through, 
Switzerland just offers an ice bath. I just say right, right on your way up to the top, there's a beautiful ice bath waiting for you. My feet, my calves, a little bit sore, but they're soaking. And uh, for a little bit after I get out of the water, they're gonna continue to feel good, so that's nice. Whew. But uh, I'll have to dry off. Obviously this afternoon, it's gonna get pretty chilly. At night, I mean, it could drop really cold, but I have all the proper equipment for sleeping, so. Um, a little rainstorm in the background. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I did come prepared with rain gear, but uh, I'd hate to have to use that. Oh, it's cold. Okay, I'm gonna dunk my head. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Oh! That's that. Gotta keep the pace. Gotta get up there at the top. Find my place to sleep tonight. It's only getting more difficult from here though. I mean, everything I've done so far has been on the roads, through the vineyards. It's pretty nice. Um, one thing I will have a shade for the rest of the time, but uh, this is when it gets technical, not super technical, but uh, uphill, sometimes using your hands, you're going up uphill so much and it'll take me, um, it'll take me two hours to do it. So I'm gonna be worn out when I get up to that cabin. Brought some pasta and cook a hot meal up there. Brought a beer, I'm really happy about that. Got the nice cold. Well, it will be cold after I find some, some cold water to put it in up there. But uh, cold beer and some pasta in the next two hours would be great. There's the little lake I was just swimming in. Oh man, it has been a steep climb. I and mean, it's only been like 15 minutes since I was just at that lake. Climbing through the trees. Check these out. I was about to pull the trigger on some trekking poles Said, oh, it'll be fine for my first overnight. <sighs> Turns out you need some trekking poles, especially when you're going up this steep with some gear on your back. I know some guys don't do it, but I did a, I used trekking poles on this same walk last time when I didn't have any gear and they helped out tremendously. <laughs> this is a rocky part. Sometimes it's in the forest and, uh, Sometimes it's on the rocks like this, and a couple times you actually even have to walk on some ledges where there's a there's a wall on one side and a sheer drop on the other, which I used to not be such a fan of, but I've kind of gotten used to it over here. Every now and then you run into a situation like that, and you just gotta cross it. Oh, right there we have a nice view. My legs are killing me. I've made it uh, up here where really the, where I pointed before and I said it goes from light green to dark green. That's about where I jump in the lake. And uh, since I've been in the lake, it's been about an hour and my legs are killing me. It's uphill, I got over 20 pounds on my back. And uh, I mean, just, there's one side of the mountain just past this tree really. Uh, the other side is a little more mellow there but you have straight down that way, we're, we're really on the backbone of this thing, and then straight up that way, you know, I'm walking up the backbone, and uh, I at least have to make it to, there's a rock pointing out up there, which is, uh, is another little, little good climb. That's my next point where it, it might flatten out for a bit after that, I don't really remember. Um, there's a lot more climbing to do, that's for sure. I just, uh, I've never done it with this much weight on my back and uh, and usually I go to the lake and turn around and then walk downhill. So this is my first time just going consistently uphill all day. And I mean, it's just, it just never ends. You know, you get one little part that you think is flat, it's still walking uphill, um, but just, just not as steep. And then right again, you just see another section and you just gotta knock it out. Uh, but we'll see how the legs do. I mean, I've been training pretty hard uh doing a lot of running doing a lot of this hiking and uh ah, this is a good taste of what it'll have to be like to do it overnight um so and a day that's that's all uphill because there will be days that are that are all uphill in my future that's for sure so uh this is this is a test and uh and it's proven to be a pretty difficult test i'm getting a well-needed walk through the forest some flat stuff going on right now. It's unbelievable. I mean, the weight of the bag is uh, is starting to weigh on me. 
constantly, even on the downhill, on the uphill. Um, but being able to walk flat and kind of get those legs extended is absolutely huge. Um, and it's just cooler in here. But uh, I know there's one more climb because as you can see very clearly, we're not above the tree line yet. So eventually we will be above the tree line. Um, so there's gonna be a nice little jump again at some point. And uh, after I finish that, long flat section, and we will find a tiny little cabin perched on top of this mountain. Okay, just finished the big descent, the, the one I struggled so much with yesterday, ascending. Um, it didn't take nearly as long and I had some, some friends to do it with, but uh, I'm back on the road. I got a good stride going downhill. I'm gonna go find my lake one more time to jump in. And then it's finished, that's a wrap. Uh, as far as the training goes for my 10 day trip, um, I need to find out uh, how much elevation I did yesterday and compare it to how much elevation I should normally do um, when I go on the 10 day trip, the normal days, how much elevation, because yesterday was difficult, super difficult. Um, obviously I will have some downhill days as well um, as, I, as I continue, and, uh, but the uphill day yesterday was brutal. Um, and yeah, I have some work to do. But I'm coming down. Uh, turns out it was not a solo trip. There were four dudes up there having a good time. They were already set up camp and had some wine and food out by the time I got there. And they were generous enough to share everything with me. So we had some fun there. And uh, got a good night's sleep, woke up this morning. And yeah, we all trekked down together, the, the four guys and I. So it was fun, but we just parted ways. And uh, I'm gonna go jump in the lake. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see them again sometime on the mountain. It was pretty funny. So if you guys are watching this video on YouTube, it was a true pleasure camping with you guys last night. It was a lot of fun. That's what makes the trips unique is uh, seeing, seeing different people, meeting people out on the trail. Uh, something I'm just getting into, but uh, I look forward to finding, finding more, more characters out there to meet. So uh, like I said, 
It's all wrapped up for the day. It's nice that I'm walking downhill. The knees and the shins hurt a little bit from that from that big descent I just did. But um, but now it's now it's just a road, and uh, I can get a stride going, finish out the day strong, and uh, jump in the lake one more time, and then get home and eat a whole bunch of food probably. So see you guys next time on Out and About TV.